Well, the week uh, is moving slowly at the Brewer House. I'd like to tell you time's going fast right now. It usually does between sermons for a preacher, but it is creeping right now, isn't it? Just things are slow and we're waiting out some things in our own life. Uh, I would ask you to pray for our family. We have learned this week that our daughter Stephanie has tested positive for coronavirus. She lives in Birmingham, and so far her husband and our two grandchildren have not tested positive. Uh, she is quarantining, and her symptoms are not extreme. They're there, but they're not uh, extreme. So we're praying that this will pass. We know there's a chance that all may or may not get it. So we're monitoring that situation. And it's a bit helpless because we can't do what we would normally do. Uh, we would go riding in and sweep those children up and take care of things. But as you know, uh, that's not the safest way to do this. And so they're quarantining. I had decided a couple of weeks ago that I would start a little series of messages on some of the symbols of our faith, things that mean a lot to us that are symbolic. And I'll go into detail about that as we go through. There's about four weeks of this. One symbol that I'm going to talk about Sunday is the cup. And every Sunday at the gathering, we refer to a passage most often, it's Matthew 26. Occasionally, it's other New Testament passages where Jesus took a cup and as a great symbol of our faith, invites us to come to a table regularly and take that cup to remember his goodness and his grace. One of the texts that will be in your bulletin this Sunday is Psalm 23. And as we think about goings on in our life, it may be in your life right now, uh, it's a great time to remember Psalm 23. Uh, when things are not in our control, when we are worried, when we fear, it's a wonderful thing to realize we will still trust God. Uh, at our house, we're trusting God with our children right now. We trust him and we will trust him in whatever the outcome of this virus might be, some unemployment issues for the other child, we're going to trust him in that. Now, this is live on video, so you can come back and ask me later, hey, preacher, did you trust him? Our history has been that we do, and we're praying for wisdom, for perseverance, and for trust right now. And Psalm 23 is good right now, not just when everything's wonderful. The text on, on Sunday will guide us toward this understanding of this ancient symbol that is one of the oldest symbols in religious history and really in all of history. Uh, one of the earliest pieces of pottery that people find when they do excavation are cups. People needed cups to drink out of, the shape of the cup, uh, the way the cup is used uh, in life to take uh, nourishment or to take liquid it's important. We're going to talk about Sunday, the religious and more specifically, the Christian symbols of the cup. What it means for us when we on Sundays invite you to come to the table. Right now we have this odd little cup and this odd little piece of bread, but it's okay. There's no description on how that would look or be, but it is a symbol for us to remember so many good things that God's grace is sufficient, that everyone is welcomed to partake of the grace of the Lord. Uh, I'm enjoying being a part of our non-denominational church. We all have different traditions probably we came out of or none at all. And so when we go to the Lord's table, uh, we may have our own perspective of that but we do it together, inviting anyone who would like to come that day. And that's very much in line with what we know of grace and God's goodness. We do it together. We don't do it alone. Uh, we come together as part of the symbol of that cup that Jesus wants us to remember. We examine ourselves. If there's sin in our life, we have the humility to bow our head and to recognize that before we take that cup. And we take the cup because we're forgiven.
because Jesus is good and loving and kind. And it's his invitation that makes us aware of how deep that grace is. So I hope you can come on Sunday. I hope it's where uh, we're able safely to gather, and I'm sure we will. We'll have the cup and the bread there for all of us. We will sing praises and, and songs to God's glory and his grace, and we'll be thankful that Jesus has made a way for us to take this cup. I hope to see you on Sunday. I'll be praying for you. You might read through Psalm 23, and then a text that has been used almost every week at the gathering, as far as I can tell in its history, is Matthew, is chapter 26, verses 27 through 30. Reread that. This Sunday is an anniversary for the gathering. I believe it's the 10th anniversary. What a remarkable thing. Uh, so we'll celebrate that in a short way and in a meaningful way. But I hope to see you on Sunday and God bless you as your week goes on.